Hey guys, what's up? This is a quick video on how to properly apply hairspray um, to a glass bed surface. Uh, this is my 2015 original Prusai 3. A couple little modifications here and there um, that I've done over the last about year that I've had it. Um, but over that time, I figured out that glass and hairspray is by far the best way for this printer design to get prints like ABS and PLA and other materials to stick. Um, so the first thing you want to do is clean off your build plate. Make sure there's no residue, there's no leftover print uh, material on it. Um, don't try to, you know, grab it all over the place, your greasy fingers or anything. Just try to wipe it down as much as you can so you don't get a lot of your oils from the skin on there. Um, but you want to take and make sure it's nice and clean. <clears throat> and you got to take the hairspray. A lot of people use the Aquanet is what I hear, but for me, I just picked this up at the store. I couldn't find the Aquanet. Um, it's Tresemme, the number five hairspray. So I guess the strongest you can get. This works just fine for me and it lasts a while. So you're gonna take it and you're just gonna evenly spray across the top as if you're painting something evenly, all the way through, all the way to the bottom. And then you go again up real slow. Don't be afraid that you're putting too much. Um, the way you're going to know if you're putting too much is basically you're going to start to spray it and you're going to start seeing little bubbles, real small little bubbles all over the place and they won't go away. Um, at first it's going to get hazy. So that's kind of why I keep it up on an angle like this and just hold it with my fingertips. Um, so I can kind of see through it, but then it's going to get hazy. And then the second coat, as you start going up, it's going to slowly get clear. That's what you want. That's what you want to keep, um, as a, as a, basically a nice even surface because it's gonna help um, your prints stick very nice. It's almost like you're treating the glass with the hairspray so that it's almost like a permanent um, stick, a permanent surface. So you're gonna start off like, like this. And you can see how it's kind of hazy, almost like frosted glass. And you're gonna go back. And you're gonna go back again until it's clear. Just like that. Now it's pretty clear, it's just got very small amount of haze to it, but it's even everywhere. There's no large bubbles anywhere, there's no clouding. This is exactly what you want. Now, I already had the Prusa heating up to 60 degrees on the bed. Um, I probably shouldn't have sprayed this so close to the machine, but for the purpose of the video, it's gonna be fine. Um, so you're gonna wanna put it on there. <clears throat> and the purpose of this is so that basically it can bake. It'll bake right to the glass and then it's going to get even more clear. You're not even going to be able to tell that there's hairspray on there once it's done. So you leave it there for about five to 10 minutes. It doesn't even take that long, probably two to five minutes. Um, and it'll be completely clear and ready to go after that. 